to another YouTube video. Today, Brody and I will be testing hair wax. Um, he got this for me as a present to hopefully fix some of my horrible, horrible roots, which is harder to do on purple hair than on black hair. So um, I have a hood on because we are very unfortunately scruffy right now. We have something special coming up, which I'm not allowed to talk to you about right now. But uh, keep your eyes open in the next couple weeks for some videos of something pretty epic going on, which is why we are very, very scruffy. We had to grow in our heads because we're going to be doing something pretty special to our heads. So in the meantime, in our horrible scruffy state, we decided now was the perfect time to test this hair wax. So this is Moff... Moffa Jang? I'm guessing Moffa Jang hair coloring material. Um, it says, usage, after the net hair, take a small amount of mud in the palm of your hand, circle rubbing uniform. Try to get on your finger, then gently pull the finger from the root of the bottom of the hair up smear evenly. Okay. Clear we as mud? This. Yep. All right. Clear as purple mud. Clear as purple mud, yes. Um, all right, I'm going to show you my terrible, terrible hair. Oh my god, it's like three different colors of purple and horrible brown roots. Ugh, I've been wearing a hat for like two weeks because I've been growing in this monstrosity. Well, it's metallic looking. So, oh god, it smells terrible. It smells like cheap men's cologne. It said fresh natural scent. That is neither fresh nor natural. So that is the first lie. Ugh. <coughs> oh. Bless you. No. I was hoping that no one would ever see my hair in this state, but here we are. So my hope is to try this on dyed hair, obviously. Mine's dyed purple-ish at the moment, even though it's faded as shit. And then on my roots, which is, you know a medium sort of light color and then Brody's hair up here has been previously dyed black and then his natural roots here so we can try it on lighter and darker hair tones okay well I can't see what I'm doing so do you want to do mine and then I'll do yours uh start with mine okay start with yours so ew, it feels like I don't know it said rubbing the circular in the palm of your hand and then can you flip your hair to the other side for me or do you want it just on the top? Well, mm. Okay. Ready? It's actually like surprisingly showing up on your hair. It smells terrible. I didn't know that it would because your hair is so dark, but like, yeah, that for sure like tinted a purple. Like, it's, it's subtle, but, like, it's there. It's purple. I like it. I don't know why it just went like you were going to stab me in the eye or something. Cha, cha, cha. Always possible. I don't know why. <laughs> I just had this. Put your hands through my face. All right. Oh, and then this. I have metallic purple hands. It says it dries matte, but it looks pretty goddamn metallic to me. So, like, I don't know. Somehow I feel like that's not going to help you very much. It also says it's made with wax, but it's water-soluble. So, like, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how easy. <laughs> gonna be able to wash that off your hands. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. All right, go. Try it on my roots. Ah, uh, boy. Oh, we're standing for this. Yep. Okay. Let's get serious. try a little bit of my natural color here. Like if I want to color the sides of my head. I pretend they weren't. What does that look like? Unfortunately it just looks like it's going like right on your head. It doesn't look like it's sitting on your hair. So I just like painted my head purple? Uh, yeah. Alright. Approximately 10 hours later. Someone 
finally took a hand washing break. How did it come off? Pretty good? Yeah. Yeah, actually, it came off just fine. That's good, because I still have metallic purple hands. But anyways, like, how do you feel about it? Well, the color's really good. It doesn't yeah. do anything as a styling product, but... No, I'm... It's kind of like that styling paste. It kind of gives you a little bit of hold, I guess. I'm impressed with it on your dark hair. I honestly don't know. Like, originally we bought this to try to, like, touch up my purple roots if I've got my hawk up, but, like... I don't know that I would use it for that. It just looks like I've got a lot of crud kind of smeared in my hair, so... Yeah, <laughs> it could be the application. It could be that, not... it could be that. It's also not really the right color of purple for me. Like, it looks lighter than... You know what? If we were to use, um, like, one of those highlighting brushes... Yeah, maybe, if you put it on with a brush. It's... Better. The instruction said, use with the fingers. But, yeah, a highlighting brush might work just Smear just up. Yeah, <laughs> smear up. Yeah, um... Anyways, so let me just show you a close-up of what we got. So this is a close-up of Brody's hair under pretty good lighting. Like, his hair is, like, pretty black, so that's actually it's pretty good. It doesn't feel the best. It feels like your hair is really dirty, but, like, I'm pretty impressed with the color on you considering, eh? Yeah. All right. Very cheap and quick and dirty dye job. <laughs> right? So here's what we got on my hair. It feels kind of gross right there. It feels like I have like a crap load of product smeared in my hair. You know what though? Under the light, the color actually looks... Okay? Yeah, the color looks okay. It, the consistency is noticeably... Something. A little waxy. And then the side, this just didn't work. This just looks terrible here, but anyways. Yeah, that just looks like somebody put a thumbprint of wax <laughs> on your head. <laughs> Which like is kind I, of what I we did. It's kind of what we did. So anyways, not bad I guess. Not bad. So anyways, there you have it, us trialing, trialing, trying Mafa Jang hair coloring material. It's actually hair wax. But uh, would I buy it again? Maybe, but probably not for myself, more for like this kind of effect. Like if you wanted like purple streaks in your hair for the day or something, rather than what we originally bought it for. Would you use it again? Oh yeah, it's fine. It's like, it's very similar to any other cream-based hair product. Yeah, I guess that like way. Like Palmat or something like that. It's a lot like that. Yeah, except purple. Yeah. So anyways, if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel. If you want to follow me on Instagram, I'm under Madame Absinthe, Madame underscore Absinthe. Same thing on Twitter. If you want to listen to me bitch about my sewing projects and show you random pictures of me taking selfies with taxidermy, that's usually where I do it. If you want to follow Brody on Instagram, he's under misanthropist. It's misanthro, P-I-S-S-E-D, with an underscore at the end. Um, and if you guys have any suggestions on um, really great hair products, because, like, you know, with the Mohawk, I'm a big fan of a lot of different kinds of hair products. So if you have any really great hairspray or hair color or hair cream suggestions, let me know. Um, other than that, please like, please subscribe, and hopefully we will be able to make more videos for you shortly. Want to go shave our heads?